your tongue. Do you want this one or? You say, good morning everyone, welcome to a day in the life vlog. <laughs> good morning, uh, I'd say welcome to another day in the life vlog. Um, Olivia is in her new playpen which she got for Christmas. Aren't you? You love it in there don't you? Yeah. She's very aware of the camera and every time I point at her she sort of stops what she's doing. <laughs> but she's very close to crawling now aren't you? Yeah. Wow. You're very close. Anyway, let me just put a uh, CBBs on for her and then I could go and make coffee and get my breakfast, which is the first thing I do every day. Apart from get up Olivia and get up Reuben, he's just in the garden having a wee. There you go, Peter Rabbit, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Just so uh, she's entertained for five minutes basically while I uh, make myself a bit more human. There, let's get a coffee. No, my darling. So yes, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. First vlog of 2024. Um, day in the life video. I, <laughs> yeah. You're very wiggly, aren't you, in the morning? I um I've been trying to film over the last two weeks, trying to do a January reset video, and I think I filmed it about filmed different clips about four or five different times, and I just wasn't feeling it. So the house is undecorated from Christmas. Um, apart from the two artificial trees, I still had to put them away. Um, which is my job for tomorrow actually <laughs> when Scott's um, here and bless you um, and I have more time on my hands to actually put them away properly but yeah I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a lovely New Year um, 
and yeah this is just going to be a day in the life video if you're new to my channel um hello my name is katie this is olivia she's seven months old um and yeah i've been uh, i'm a minimalist this is this channel is about my life as a minimalist a minimalist mum um and how we use minimalism um in our everyday lives how i um use budgeting in my everyday life and um, personal finance and how we try to live a lot more sustainably and um, in harmony with nature really although at the moment um, the only things we're doing in nature getting in and out like um, getting out and about in nature are our walks with the dog who um, woke up, well, I woke him up, he went outside to go to uh, the toilet, and then he's come in, he's eaten his breakfast, and then he's run straight upstairs, and I imagine we would find him curled up in our bed with my boyfriend, Scott, um, and he's probably gone back to sleep again. Um, it's not early, it's half past eight, um, but he's not a morning person, <laughs> so you, maybe you'll see him later in the vlog. But um, yeah, I'm just going. I'm just eating my breakfast now while Olivia um, watches some um, TV because now she's seven months old. We're definitely we're in the full throngs of baby led weaning. Um, so she will be having some ready break um, and some some. Uh, yeah, like porridgey stuff in a little bit, but it's quite a full on process, like full on um, experience, should we say? Um, so I like to have my breakfast first and actually be able to eat it and drink my coffee when it's hot. So then, when she's having her breakfast, I can give her my full attention um, because, especially when it comes to porridge. It goes everywhere, it's very, very messy, um, which is absolutely fine. That's how babies learn how to eat. <laughs> that's how we, that's, she, she is a good eat, like she enjoys eating food as well, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's very, I need two hands. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Hey, so we can watch, watch, have our breakfast and watch the telly and then you can have your breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Um, I hit 500 subscribers um, over the last couple of weeks and I just want to say now, um, thank you so, so much for all of your support, especially, you know, if you tune into my ch videos every week, um, you know, I do, I see... Um, all your comments I really appreciate them and honestly to be able to hit 500 subscribers like at the beginning of this year is an absolute dream I can't believe it. I'm so thankful um, and that's why it's taken me so long to put a vlog out because I um, just really really want to be putting out content that I love um, that I would watch and hopefully that you love and that you enjoy watching as well. So, yeah, I'm really thankful for all the support I've got over 2023. Um, like, really from the bottom of my heart. And um, it's make, it's push, pushing me to make even better content for 2024. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy all the content that's to come, really. Um... A few more, I'll be, I'm going to try and do a few more sit down videos, um, a few more how to videos, but I really enjoy vlogging, so um, I'm um, going to continue to vlog. Um, even with a baby who is, wants to crawl but can't crawl yet, can you? <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Um, for your support and um yeah I'm going to stop rambling and actually drink my coffee while it's hot <laughs> I 
Okay, so it's about half past ten. Olivia's just fallen asleep on Scott, but he needs to go take the dog out. So I'm going to take Olivia for her morning nap. Um, we've just been um, having breakfast and eat and chatting and playing. Um, and as you may hear in the background, I've just put on a load of washing. Um, and yeah, when I'm on my own with Olivia and, and Reuben, I just try to get... Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm on my own with them for most of the day but when Scott is here I just try to get like one or two jobs done um, when and where I can not put pressure on myself to like do everything that needs to be done but just you know keep things ticking over as much as possible um, yeah in the moments that I have free really so yeah we're gonna I'm gonna go um, be with Olivia for her mid-morning nap and then I'll pick you up when um, she wakes up because that's when we're going to go to the library. Okay. Well, the plan was to go to the library, but we're having a, a lot of tears <laughs> and a lot of tantrums about getting dressed. So I think we'll just play inside for a bit and then um, maybe go for a W-A-L-K. I have to spell it out because the dog's right there. <laughs> um, later on, I think she might be a bit tired. So we'll just play inside for a bit and then we'll go out a bit later on when she's had a bit more of a nap because... Um, yeah, lots of tears and tantrums at the moment. <laughs> Sorry that I um, stopped filming yesterday. My camera actually ran out of space on the memory card. And then 
Um, <laughs> basically, I was just doing the routine, nighttime routine with Olivia. Um, so I just sort of concentrated on that rather than filming. So instead of a day in life, this is a couple days in my life. But very excitingly today, we've had an exciting delivery, which is Olivia's cot. So she's now wriggling around so much and getting so big, she can actually pull herself up onto her knees by um, in her next to me crib. And I'm very worried that she'll do it in the middle of the night and flip herself out of the crib onto the floor. <laughs> so she's definitely ready for a bigger bed um, with more space because she rolls around so much and sometimes as she's rolling around she'll hit the side and then that will wake her up the fact that she can't like flip herself um, as much as she wants so she's 100% ready for her own big girl bed um, and this is a cot that um, you know it's like a cot that Lynn can when she's old enough be made into a, a proper toddler bed so this should last us like hopefully three or four years but yeah we need to put it up so I'm gonna bring you along also sorry for the state of my hair I really need to have a shower but I'm going to do oh god um yeah I really need to have a shower but I need to do a load of cleaning before I'm ready to wash myself but my postpartum hair look at my how long my baby hair's getting <laughs> so yeah anyways let's put this cot up wow there's your big girl bed we'll have to move your llama the scissors are yeah. in the bathroom Here's your llama Lama! Frustrated that she can't do it, didn't she? Hello. 
Hello everyone, again, so it's the next day. As you would have seen, yesterday we built Olivia's new bed and it took hours. <laughs> it took us almost all day. But uh, in this last day of uh, spending a few days with me, we've got something very, very fun, very exciting. We're going to the zoo with Olivia for the first time. Are you excited? She doesn't really know what's going on, obviously, but me and Scott are very excited. So, yeah, before we bring you along, come with us for a day at the zoo. It's um, it's like a small, smallish local zoo to us in Huntingdon um, called Hamilton Zoo. And, yeah, looking forward to bringing you along. I um, was up with Olivia at 5am, she woke up, so my hair... I didn't have time to have a shower basically this morning before we need to leave so I've literally just slicked my hair back into a bun I put on like five minute makeup just to make sure I didn't look so dead and then outfit of the day is just my yes I know I have a Christmas tree still up <laughs> my um, new jumper from Apricot which I got in the sale jeans and then my new boots um, nice and cosy and warm and practical for walking around all day. So, let's go to the zoo. My feather to red. Scarlet ibis nests in loose colonies in trees near wet edges. The water's a We're at the zoo. What do you think of it so far? It's very good. It is good, really? isn't it? It's a bit chilly today. I've got my hat and my hood on. I've got Olivia all wrapped up. <laughs> You're really enjoying it, aren't you, darling? Yeah. The the Ooh. gibbons, they're, they're gibbons uh, over the other side, and they've been non-stop, like, what would you call it? Like, Ooh. yeah, like hollering. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're doing it as well. Mama, yeah. We're just looking at some scarlet ibis. They are really striking. But yeah, it's a bit chilly, but it's very good. And I definitely want a tortoise as a pet now because they are so cute when they're like the little ones and the big ones are even cuter. <laughs> a giant anteater! Wow, she's massive! She is huge. I didn't realise they were that big. Well, I did think they were big, but... Can you see? Don't feel they're like as bigger, that's as big as Reuben. Uh, that's bigger. Do you think bigger than yes, Reuben? it's 100% bigger. God. 100%. Oh, hey, this one's going. Here he comes. Wow. Oh. There's a lively stuff going to be there. There's some monkeys over there. Gibbons, not monkeys. So we're just at the tiger enclosure and the tigers are coming in and we can see them really like up close and they are absolutely ginormous and they're amazing they are so cool um but guess who is absolutely fast asleep oh you've woken up she's just woken up she has been fast asleep you see the tigers? Can you see them, Livy Lou? So we're back home and I thought I would just end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed spending a few days with me in my life. 
Um, I yeah had a shower, washed my hair, refreshed myself, done a bit of skincare. Um, but yeah, warm showers definitely needed. It was, we got quite cold in the end, so um, came home. Um, we had, not exactly early. We sort of left the same the same time that we wanted to to, but yeah, definitely needed a warm shower to warm up. Um, and yeah, now I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Probably edit this video. Um, but yeah, a few days in my life. Um, and so if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more vlogs from me, hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, thank you for your support during January. Um, I can't believe the month is almost over <laughs> already. It's gone very fast. Um, and actually this week I've had a conversation with my boss and our HR team about going back to work and I've got my uh, date set for going back to work full time. Um, so maternity leave for me is ending pretty soon which is um, strange. I'm just going to enjoy these last few months um, of being off work while I can but um, yeah, I am excited to go back actually. Um, but yeah, it'll just be a new chapter um, in a few months. So yeah, being able to go to the zoo in the middle of the week um, when it was quiet and be able to see um, the animals like kind of like uninterrupted by other people was just really lovely. <laughs> Um, and we're definitely going to go back to that zoo um, in the summer. Um, they have got like a little train that you, you can like go on and it takes you around the zoo. And when Olivia's a bit older, I think she'll really love it. And um, yeah, we just want to go back. It was really, it was quite cheap. It's quite local. Um, and yeah, the, they have um, loads of amazing animals. So it was just a lovely day, really lovely day. Um, it's been a really nice few days. Um, I haven't got all the jobs done that I want to do yet, but basically that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this evening um, and um, over the next, yeah, basically this evening. Uh, the only things I really need to finish off are putting down these blimmin' Christmas trees <laughs> and um, I'm going to, um, I need to iron the um canopy like the bed canopy that olivia got for christmas um, and then we're going to hang it over her her bed so i want to iron the um material so it's nice because it's all creased at the moment um but yeah i will show you olivia's um new rearranged room um in the next vlog which will be next sunday um and yeah i'm planning i think my schedule from for the rest of the year now is going to be sunday mornings at 6 30 a.m so as soon as you wake up on a sunday there'll be a video ready for you to watch first thing um and hopefully they're all cozy and peaceful and simple and inspirational so you can always start your sunday with a little slice of um minimalism and a little slice of um say a slice of me but that sounds weirder than i mean it <laughs> but anyways i hope you all have a fantastic week and i will see you next sunday bye